Oh. Oh, there's a little bird outside. It has been some time since I've made videos, and... I, what, am, what am I trying to say with this? I have no idea what I'm trying to say with this video. Other than the fact that... Hi! Wow! Wowza! Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. I, it's me. It's Tamor. I'm here. And I am alive. I know I haven't posted a video on my channel in, like, a month. Which is, like, the biggest hiatus I have ever taken ever since I started making, like, weekly-ish videos. I think the previous biggest hiatus was, like, two months or two weeks. Previously to that, like, in 2019, 2019 and before 2019, I didn't really make content regularly. It was at the end of 2019 and going into 2020 and 2021 where I really decided to do at least weekly videos or at least every other week or, you know, just consistent content, you know? And actually, I've, by doing that model, I've actually grown a lot. But here I am after the biggest hiatus, and I will tell you exactly why I was gone for so long. And the biggest thing that I was gone for so long was my apartment. So, uh, a few weeks ago, I had an apartment. I was uh, at work and my wife who was working from home told me that the ceiling was leaking. And immediately I was like, what, what, what do you mean the ceiling is leaking? Like send pictures, send videos. And I saw the pictures, I saw the videos. I was like, ah, it's not too bad. It's like, like two or three drops at a time. But I know it's an issue because why the heck would water be coming from a ceiling in an apartment complex? So I literally, I was like, crap. So I told my job, I was like, okay, I got to go home. So I raced home and I helped my wife just sort of get everything situated. We told our landlord that, hey, the ceiling is leaking. We put some buckets. We put all the stuff there. We went and we grabbed all of our important stuff, like my computer and like her computer and our electronics and everything else that was on the floor. Because what the heck, what if the roof like caves in because it was leaking and whatnot? And also, why is this water brown? Like, the water that was coming down was, like, literally, like, brown, yellowish, and it smelled weird, too, when it was coming down. So, I, I have no idea what was happening. We were, like, racing to just grab everything and go, and, like, the landlord's, like, doing stuff upstairs. He says, the apartment upstairs was entirely flooded. And, like, we're thinking, bro, like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean entirely flooded? He's like, yeah, those people don't really live there that much. What do you mean they don't live there that much? So it was a huge headache. Absolutely awful. And to be honest, like it, it was in extremely scary. Like we, we were like, we don't have a place to go. We don't have all this stuff at work. I was doing one of my busiest weeks of like the entire year too. Cause I was getting there 7 AM and I was leaving at like 6 PM every day. So that was like the sort of lifestyle that I was living at the time when the roof started leaking and what happens is the landlord he shuts off the water upstairs he dries a bunch of with towels he gives us one of those huge industrial fans and points at the ceiling and says just let it dry we let it dry a bunch of yellow stains were at the ceiling a few days later we find out it was because of the toilet so essentially essentially what was happening was that there was like poo poo pee pee water coming off the ceiling and all over our stuff in the apartment. And I, that was like, that was one of the last straws for that place. Like we had had a, a relatively okay experience with that place. I mean, it was really nice. It was really small. It was really expensive. The quality of life wasn't that great in that place just because of the pricing and the size. And also there were some issues with the apartment, like the water was rusty that the landlord said, I don't want to fix it. Just like let it run until it was clean. Oh, we lived like that for a while. And this was sort of the, just the last straw. And we were like, we got to get out of here. So what we did was we took all of our stuff and we came uh, to here actually right now. And we're living with uh, parents and it's as of right now, it's just like, 
you know, a stepping stone where, where we don't know what's exactly going to happen with the future, but we know we had to get out of that place. And so the landlord offer like other places or just to, if you want to take a lease in another place, but they were all too expensive. He didn't provide any accommodations for us for free, even though the place that we were living in had poo poo pee pee water coming down from the ceiling. Like, I don't know, guys. Eventually, we got him to fix the roof because there was water damage in the ceiling that he had to tear it all up and do all that stuff. And what ended up happening was we were out of there for like two weeks. And in that two weeks, we asked, hey, can we get two weeks off of our next rent? And ultimately, the answer was just no. And, you know, legal action aside, like, let's just focus on just not the money and just our livelihoods right there was we just left once it's all repaired once it was all nice and refurbished like we just didn't want to live there anymore so we're still in this transitioning period with our parents like literally that's been a huge stressor and that was primarily the reason why i was gone for so long if you notice on twitch you know i've been streaming a little bit more and like during the time that all this was happening one of my editors ken bless his soul put out a video which i thought that was great and you know it just helps a lot it helps a lot and i really appreciate that you know i gotta i gotta talk to y'all about the future of the channel because i'll be honest this entire adventure of rushing to get different place now we live like I used to be able to commute to work and it took me about 10 to 15 minutes. Now it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half. One way, I should say. So essentially those weeks where I had to go 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., I was really leaving here like 5.30 and coming back at like 6 or not 6, like 7.30. So essentially it was it was huge drain on my mental health and I'll show... I'll show my physical health and everything was just like really, really rough for a period. And then I also watched Bo Burnham's Inside. I don't know if any of you have seen that. And to be honest, that's special on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, feel free to watch it. It was extremely depressing, but also really creative and honestly really cool. I really loved the songs and I really empathize with a lot of the emotions he felt, especially in quarantine. And emotionally i was at a real low point so i even took like a break from just content in general focused on work left the discord my discord for a little bit and just you know focused on getting all that stuff with the apartment settled and also getting a little bit better mentally and i really feel like that time that i took off from streaming from making content from doing all that stuff was really eye-opening and i see bo burnham's inside as like a triumph that over the course of a year he put out some great content and in my opinion the content that i've been putting out is actually really cool i really love the videos that i've made uh, some more than others definitely but i feel like i've reached a point where what i was trying to do with my channel is not feasible anymore so the biggest thing that i'm telling you right now is not that these videos are going away i'll still be making it I'll still be making content what that content looks like will be different it will be me sitting in front of a camera talking to you about stuff and calling them taste talks hey maybe you know i, I have no idea i don't know what i'm going to do with the taste talks channel or like my channel for taste talks or if am I going to make a new channel just specifically taste talks and I'll just talk about stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but for the most part, the biggest thing about my content is the subtitling, which is huge, right? And with all the gameplay montages that I've done, I, I strive to put captions that one, they make sense. They uh, explain to you all what we're saying and they also display some sort of emotion so where they're shaking where they're doing everything like that it's color-coded for the person so you're not that confused and I, i've gotten compliments on the subtitling just by other people 
especially in the deaf community, saying like it was really nice to be able to see it and understand a lot of the content, which like it warms my heart, you know, and subtitling is something that I would actually like to be able to keep doing. But at the end of the day, it's it's such a drain on resources and time to be able to do all of that for all these videos for like measly views. And then I think about the other thing that on my I made on my channel, which I'm quite proud of, and that's the crewmates, right? The whole season of the crewmates, which one, it didn't necessarily have subtitles and YouTube's auto caption generating things are also really good too. So that's gotten a lot of uh, good praise, which I, I, I'm super flattered. Like <laughs> anything that I make, if some person likes it, I'm like, Yo, thanks. Like that, that that's amazing to me. And did it stop recording? So what am I even saying with my this video? Uh but going forward, I want to do better with content and I also want to be able to make more. You know? So subtitling unfortunately as it is an amazing thing to be able to do it's just not going to be feasible and you might be seeing more let's plays on this channel and the crewmate season two which again that will come soon for season two of the crewmates i have about eight episodes completed in terms of the rough draft which introduce more characters more scenes more interactions between the characters and in my mind i'm just like oh my god i it's it's going to be like, I have stress over it just because, not because like I'm stressed that, that it's going to be, you know, a lot of work. I'm just like stressed of like, man, there's going to be a lot of things to manage because writing season one wasn't that bad, but writing season two is a little bit harder because I have to take everything that we did in season one and still apply it and still translate it to be able to take all the previous information of the seasons and still like extend them. It's just harder, especially with a larger cast and now more characters are being introduced. But again, I have like eight episodes of rough draft written out. Uh, ninth episode I'm working on. Tenth episode would be the last for season two. And once the rough drafts are finished, I'm able to make the season, which, uh, oh, a lot of work. But anyway, I just want to mention, like, th thank you all for watching my content. It means everything to me. Honestly, like, thank you so much. And I do want to be able to get you more gaming content as well as be able to give you more specific channel content and more channels. Even I floated around different ideas for channels, you know, like a channel just for the crewmates. That way, you know, well, people who subscribe, they won't get spammed with all the other content. It'll just be for the crewmates. And I say channel for taste talks. I can make more videos like this when I'm talking. Hey. But uh, that'll be like its own separate channel. And then this one, Taze, it'll be like Taze Gaming. And I'll just post all the game content related here. And then my other channel, Taze 2, will just be like the VODs, you know? All the stream content, I'll just dump it there in case people want to watch it. That's sort of like a roadmap, I would say, for channels. Uh, the biggest issue for me personally is that I get paid on this channel, right? Content that I make... I earn money here on this channel, which is why I'm so hesitant to put the crewmates on a separate channel. It would be a loss of revenue for me, even though it's like what 20 cents per month that I'm getting on like the crewmates or whatnot. It, it just like that. So you may see that. Uh, give me feedback, what you all think about it. I might be able to make those channels and then that way, you know, people who are here for the crewmates can just watch the crewmates and people who are just here for like taste docs can stay for taste talks people are here for the gaming content can be for the gaming content so give me feedback that's probably the roadmap i'm leaning towards doing especially as we go forward but i should have made a structure for this video so in conclusion from this video if you didn't watch everything else i just talked about and rambled on i am going to be making more gaming content with no subtitling so going forward no subtitles for videos Sorry, sometimes there might be subtitles, sometimes there might not be, but that's what I'm aiming on doing with this channel. Two, I might be making other channels as well.
So keep on the lookout for like channels like The Crewmates or Taze Talks or anything else like separate. They might be coming at their own channel. If you have any opinions about all those things having their own separate channel, feel free to let me know too. And lastly, I'm back. My apartment was crap and now it's gone. And I will I just keep you updated on stuff. But overall, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Thank, thanks for watching, everyone. Now, I'll see you on the next one. You know, maybe I'll see you on this Taze Talks channel. Or maybe I'll see you on the next Taze video or something. Or I'll just see you. All right. See ya.